Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics from AppleCritics.ca, and in this video, I'll be comparing the iPhone 5 to the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now, these are by far two of the best flagship phones from Apple and from Samsung. Now, taking a look at the firmware, the Samsung Galaxy S4 runs the TouchWiz UX firmware and it's the main overlay for Samsung. Now going into settings, the Samsung Galaxy S4 runs Android 4.2 Jelly Bean, whereas the iPhone 5 runs iOS 6. Taking a closer look at the design of the iPhone 5, you can see that the iPhone 5 is just simply beauty. It's 4 inch display along with the camera at the top and the nice design where it's part glass at the top and a nice aluminum finish with the Apple logo right there. Uh, it's just definitely one of the nicest designs out there. Whereas you have the Samsung Galaxy S4 which has a nice 5 inch edge to edge display, uh, a nice home button at the bottom, two touch capacitive buttons that light up, along with a 13 megapixel camera, uh, that's a very big camera with a nice uh, plastic back, which is a hyperglaze back. Now putting the Samsung Galaxy S4 on top of the iPhone 5, you can see that the S4 is much thinner, although it's also longer than the iPhone 5 because of the 5 inch display. Now the iPhone 5 has a A6 processor which is very fast and Apple didn't even display how fast it actually is. Whereas on the Samsung Galaxy S4 you have a not dual core, not quad core, but an octa core processor which is 8 cores. Also note to have two quad core uh, processors which is basically two quad core processors in one and that's simply amazing. Now it's clocked at 1.6 gigahertz. With having the octa-core processor on the Samsung Galaxy S4, you can see that there's no lag whatsoever. You can move through pages very fast, and it's actually really fluid. Now, you cannot spot any lag with this octa-core processor, and it's simply a beast. So the Samsung Galaxy S4 definitely takes a cake on this one. Now, powering off the iPhone 5 and the Samsung Galaxy S4 at the same time, Three, two, one, and booting both of the devices back up. As you can see, they both came on at the same time. And I felt a slight vibration from the Samsung Galaxy S4. And it's now booted up. And the iPhone 5 has finally booted up. Now the S4 has a brilliant camera, so let's see how it does. Now taking pictures are very fast, so you can see uh, that there's absolutely no shutter lag at all. Now some features it includes uh, is auto, beauty face, best photo, best face, uh, sound and shot drama, uh, animated photo, rich tone, eraser. Uh, so say for example someone walks into your picture while you're taking one uh, and you take about it will take about seven pictures and it will basically Photoshop the person who was moving in the picture uh, out in the background. Now one of the best features is the dual camera feature. So as you can see you can see the front facing camera and the rear facing camera at the same time. And you can take a video, so say you're taking a video of people as well, uh, you can also be in it. Uh, and it's like you're in the picture, uh, but you're not at the same time. 
Now the camera is a very important part of the Samsung Galaxy S4 and it definitely shines. Now taking pictures with the iPhone 5 uh, is also very simple. There's no shutter lag and it's very fast. Although you don't have any options and that's where the Galaxy S4 is very innovative. Uh, so all the options you have uh, is just like a simple grid mode uh, and HDR and panorama and that's about it. Whereas the S4 has everything and the kitchen sink. Now the S4 has many features. Now some people may call it gimmicks, although I find them uh, as lots of features that you have, although you won't realize that you had them until you use them, and then you absolutely can't live without them. Uh, so say for example, there's this uh, feature called Air Gesture, and if I go into the gallery app, and then I swipe to the left, right over the screen, you can see that I'm not touching the screen at all. You can see I can move through photos without actually touching the screen, and that's a very cool feature. Now you also have a feature called S Translator, which again is a very good feature. Now say for example I'm in the middle of Italy and I want some pasta. What I can do is speak in English and it will translate it into Italian for me and it would speak it out loud in Italian so I can uh, tell the clerk what I want. Uh, so say for example, I want spaghetti. So as you can see I did say I want spaghetti uh, and it says it in Italian. Uh, so all I have to do is just press the button where it says uh, I can speak it out loud. So. So as you can see, that's S Translator. Now the S4 has many more features as well. Whereas with the iPhone 5, I can't really point out any distinct features that I haven't seen before in previous iterations of the iPhone or any Android phones at right now. Now going into the internet and going into none other than applecritics.ca You can see that the S4 beat the iPhone 5, and the iPhone 5 is still loading. So let's go into a post, so say for example, uh, on this one. And the iPhone 5 won just by a little bit. And say for example, I go into another post. And the S4 beat the iPhone 5 on that one again. Uh, so it's definitely a toss-up and it depends on your Wi-Fi, even though they're both on the same Wi-Fi network. Now one of the positives that the S4 has is its battery. Now uh, some people do complain that the S4 is plasticky, uh, and yes it is, but uh, it has a more premium feel. And one of the benefits is that you have a removable battery. So what I can do is buy another battery and keep a battery with me uh, so I'll never run out of battery and it's a removable battery at that. Whereas with the iPhone 5 you have a very nice design although you have no removable battery at all. I'd rather have a plastic design with a removable battery rather than just having a nice design where I cannot remove the battery at all. Now the Samsung Galaxy S4 has a 1920 by 1080p display. Now think about that for a second. On a very good TV you can get a 1080p TV but having that same quality on the Galaxy S4 is definitely very nice to have. Although on your iPhone 5 you also have a Retina display which is just as good. Although the iPhone 5's display is just as good as the Samsung Galaxy S4 and I cannot spot pixels on both. Now the multimedia on the Samsung Galaxy S4 is definitely incredible. You can download uh, a song from the internet without even having to jailbreak or root or anything like that. Uh, so it's very advanced. Whereas on the iPhone 5, you're very restricted to only what Apple allows you to do. Although you can jailbreak and do all that, you can do it on the stock iPhone and that definitely could be a deal breaker. 
Now also with the multimedia, you can store videos and pictures on your SD card uh, and have it on your S4. And there's a lot more options when it comes to multimedia on the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now both of these devices do have speedy processor, so what better to do than open up some apps. Now closing out apps on the iPhone, I have to close them one by one. And on the S4, there's no apps running on both. So let's open up the music app, for example. Three, two, one. And the S4 one on that one. Let's open up the settings, for example. Three, two, one. And that was definitely a tie. Let's open up the YouTube app, for example. Three, two, one. And the iPhone 5 one on that one. And say for example the score sports app. And the S4 one that one. Now the S4 does have a storage capacity of 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, and 64 gigabytes. Although you can insert an external uh, SD card and with that you can have over 32 gigabytes uh, plus the internal storage. Uh, so the S4 does have a lot of storage. Whereas on the iPhone 5 you only, you're only stuck with the 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte models with no external storage. Now overall that was a complete in-depth phone battle of the Samsung Galaxy S4 and the iPhone 5. Now both of these are great phones and if you're looking for the phone of the year, I definitely have to say the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now if you're looking for one of the phones that are easier to use and just simple, I would go with the iPhone and you don't really care much about customization. Multimedia wise, the S4 also shines and also with a lot of wow features, uh, I would highly recommend this as well. Although if you're the app type and want to play a lot of games and stuff, the iPhone would be just as good. So overall, thanks for watching this complete smackdown of the S4 versus the iPhone 5. Please be sure to subscribe, like this video, please follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash applecritics. Please like this video as I know you watch. Also go ahead and uh, check out applecritics.ca for the latest Apple news reviews and more. And if you click on the link in the description down below, it will be a head-to-head -head, uh, matchup between these two phones. And go ahead and comment down below if you think the iPhone 5 is better than the S4 or you think the S4 is better than the iPhone 5. And also comment why. And please like this video as I know you watch. And thanks for watching.